welcome to another photo adventure with Red Cross. You are back in the Boogies area and you are going to come here to this place which is Albert Center and at this place we are going to have some food some hawker food, street food, delicious food, Singaporean food at this place, Albert Center, a food center in Boogies, a busy area. Lots of things to do here, but if you are hungry, this is the place to come. No better a place to come for you to get food, affordable food, street food, at this food center. So, we are back here at Pondok Makan Indonesia and we're here to have Samo noodles, Malay noodles. This time, we're going to have a different noodles. Previously, we were here, we had Mi Siam. This time, we are having Mi Rebus. This dish is popular in maritime Southeast Asian countries like Malaysia and Singapore and it's called Mi Rebus in Malay translated to English it's called boiled noodles it's a popular dish and one that is real yummy especially when it's made like this doll this doll does these noodles well um, in Singapore and Malaysia it's called Mi Rebus in Indonesia, some places call it Mi Kua but here it's called Mi Rebus so just squeeze in some of the calamansi lime and what you see underneath there is a noodle, a dish made of yellow noodles it has a sweet savory gravy made from shrimp broth shallots and other herbs and spices and here when you taste the broth here you do find that the broth here does have a more how do i say this they use more of the herbs and spices here to make the broth much richer much more complex than other places and i must say i do really like the uh, mirabus here and i also ordered a burger deal too yes so what i'm gonna do now is i'm getting ready to rumble rumble in the junk of noodles malay noodles which this shop does very well other than noodles I see quite popular from this store is also satay. They sell the satay 70 cents per stick, minimum order of 10 satay sticks. But we are having the Mi Rebus. As you can see, yellow noodles now. And one thing is this gravy is nice and thick. Because of that, the gravy is clinging onto the noodles and is imparting onto the noodles all the flavor of the sauce, the gravy. The first bite. I must say, I am enjoying it. The noodles here a bit overcooked to my liking I prefer my noodles slightly more uh, less cooked but still good you also got bean sprouts in there but really the gravy here done very well sweet savory and you got cut chilies to give it the heat it's like it's almost like a curry like gravy but done so well with Indonesian Malay spices and because the gravy is nice and thick it's coating all the noodles so well 
compared to other Mee Rebus gravies, the gravy here has a more interesting flavour, slightly more spices in it. So it's good compared to other places. Then the burger deal. The burger deal by itself is good. First of all, the broth. The broth just have a bit more flavor to it, a bit more of the spices, which is quite nice. Just that the sauce is just enough to put all the noodles. Then the noodles, normally for me, it's a bit uh, overcooked, but it's still okay. But this part is super crunchy. Then, the burger deal, which is nice. Good food. Honestly, it doesn't really go with this uh, broth with the sauce here. Because the sauce is very thick. And the video normally goes with a sauce like a misoto, where they absorb all the sauce into the burger and gives you more flavor. This one here is just a burger deal coated with the sauce. Not bad. I feel solution. But still good. And what I like about the store is it's a good whole hard body. The sauce here is really nice. Just that uh, I think the Amisiam is a slightly better fish than this fish. Well, no. Just this is really good though. So. And while I'm here, I wanted to have some snacks, so I'm having some goreng pisang from this store here. So what they do, they what they sell here is basically fritters. Yes, different uh, fritters. The main thing they sell is goreng pisang, which is banana fritters. So here are the few items I bought. A few fritters. Honestly, I don't really know what's in the fritters. I will know it when I taste it later. But I just pointed to a few things. And of course the uh, growing pisang or the banana fritter. That I know what it is. But the other items looks like maybe sweet potato, some kind of round nugget and another fritter. Yes, we'll find out what it is. Yes, let's dig in. Let's see what we can find. Let's get ready for grumble. Yo, first thing of course is the goreng pisang, the banana fritter. Hmm, that's a big bite. First thing I must say, this place here they do better and deep fry their fritters very well. It does have a very nice crispy outer layer. All their fritters, but. 
one thing I don't like is that this banana, even though it's big and has a nice firm bite texture, it is a bit on the unripened side. And when you like fry a unripened, unripened banana, it's not very sweet. I normally prefer my banana to be ripe so that you have a nice sweet caramelized flavor. This one, you don't have that. Then this next fritter that I'm eating, as you can see, is a sweet potato fritter. Nice crispy outer layer with a banana with a sweet potato filling. Ordinary, so I will just keep that for later. Next up is this square of deep friedness. Nice crispy outer layer. And ah I know what this is. This is actually a tapioca cake. Cut into a square. Nice and thick and good back texture to it. Sweet and crispy on the outside. I must say this is a good snack. If you buy come here to buy, buy one of these. Mm, very nice. So nice that I'll keep it for later. And lastly, this nugget. I have no idea what's in here, but I'm going to find out now. Ah, as you can see, this is actually a mung bean nugget. Unfortunately, this is just a rich because they didn't put enough mung beans in there. So you do not get a very good mung bean flavor. You just get the additional items that they put back in there to deep fry into a nugget. So this uh, avoid, not very nice. So overall, I must say they do deep fry the their fritters here very nicely. Just that the ingredients they use, they choose to put inside there is a bit... They do not use enough ingredients, they do not use uh, ripe ingredients, they do not use the proper amount so to give it extra, to give it the proper flavor. So overall, you know, if you want to have some fritters, you can buy the uh, banana fritter or green pizza is okay, and the tapioca cake one. The rest um, too ordinary, not enough attention to ingredient quality. And so this ends our food adventure here at Albert Center. I hope you enjoyed our full adventure here. As per usual, like, share and subscribe. I got PayPal, I also got Patreon. Support me on those. And lastly, but the most important thing, the thing that you have to do is to join me for my next adventure. I will see you guys around. Bye-bye.